Welcome to This Is Important, a production of iHeartRadio, the show where we only talk about what is most obviously very crucially important. Today on This Is Important... When's the last time you saw a fucking owl, you prick? The shrimp tacos must be an aphrodisiac because I want to fuck everything. Where is a vagina located on a chicken? (laughs) We're wearing kilts. Steve doesn't have anything on underneath. Let's go. That Hell was yeah. Nice. And we're in it, baby. Oh, my God. It felt good. Hello. Here we are. What's up? Hello. To kick us off. Thank you. Thank you, Blakey. What's up? You're welcome, What's up? guys. I'm so happy to see you. I love my friends. Guys, we should all take uh, a group vacation together. And I'm dead serious about this. Oh. Uh, I was just in Mexico. Chloe and I were looking for wedding venues because oh. our... our uh, Our wedding venue here in California just up and canceled all events for 2021. So that's sick, sick butthole. And uh, so we go to down to Mexico. Nobody's there. It's a fucking empty resort. There was like there's like 170 rooms at this resort, and there's maybe 10 rooms full, and it was insane. And everybody's like, it's the most socially distanced I've been since this whole goddamn thing started, including inside of my house. Where in Mexico? What city? Yeah, what part? We went to uh, Punta Mita, Punta which is Mita. beautiful, and like no one knows about it, which is awesome. And then we went to Cabo, and that was a little more crowded, but mm-hmm. still isn't not a, bad at all. Isn't Punta Mita in Nay? N-A-Y? No, it's right by uh, uh, Puerto Vallarta. I think- yeah, I thought it, when I looked it up on the map, it looked like it was by Sayulito, which is I've been there and it's fucking awesome, dude. Yeah, it was su- it was super uh, super gorge. So we're yeah we're, we might get married there. We might get married in uh, Cabo. We don't know, but it was I was like the whole time I'm there, I'm like, oh, why have I been in? Like, why is anyone in L.A. Just fucking escape from L.A. Get away. Like the rest of the world, there you can be away from people. Oh, and yeah. you could be in paradise. Financially, s- some people can't. Some people are just here. Uh, <laughs> I think. I think. So, I think a lot of people are working uh, essential yes. jobs. Uh, yeah, but a lot of people are working for just off their computer. You can do that anywhere, dude. Plen- Thank yep. you. Yep. Find last, your beach. Digital nomads. The last vacation I went to was Sayulita, right before they locked us down in in Thanks. America, and it was like we're locking ourselves down, Kyle. <laughs> It was, yeah, right before we, right before. It's not they, we're all in this together. Right before they suggested that we do it on our own. <laughs> not Kyle. Kyle's not out Kyle. and about. I love it. The verbiage, we're getting into it. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree verbiage. with you. I, I, my point was that <laughs> the, uh, the it was cheap as fuck. It was the best. Uh-huh. Yeah. So it was the best. I know. That's what was cool about, dude, that's what was cool about Punta Mita. It was like, I yes. had a nice resort, right? Like it's a nice uh, quality resort. It's mm-hmm. a St. Regis. It's like- Quality in? Oh, St. Regis. Yeah. And uh, beers were $4 mm-hmm. American. Hello. From the bar, like from yep. the resort bar. Four bucks? But yeah, four bucks. I'm like, this is a fucking steal. Well, that's at a resort. Yeah. At a resort. If you go outside of the resort and do the Airbnb thing or that thing, it's... It's free, dude. They pay you to get drunk. It's pesos, baby. Dude, it's so... They pay you to get drunk. I want to say that the Four Seasons... Can you give me another drink? The Four Seasons... That was was me for sure. Uh, That was me for sure. Four Seasons Maui, like at the beginning of the pandemic, they were like, you can come here for a month and it would cost the same as it would be like for a week, which is like... A week is expensive, obviously, but like if you stretch that over a month at the fucking four seasons. Yeah. What's up with not Hawaii? Bad. Can we go over there now? Or I remember at one point you couldn't. Yeah, but they're not fucking around. Hawaii's green light. It's green light. You gotta stay. You gotta stay pretty locked down if you're in a hotel. Is it this one of is- those quarantine situations where you have to stay in a hotel for like 14 days before you can even go out? That's what I'm doing. No. Up in- I be- I believe so. That's what I'm doing up in Canada right now. My parents went. They didn't have to 14 day it. Oh, really? Yeah, I think we're spreading some false information. I bet. I got a friend who just moved there. and I bet podcasts are going to fucking flag our asses. She flag us. I love to be educated. <laughs> flag me, bitch. <laughs> I got a friend who just moved there, and she said she had to lock it down for two weeks. 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought that was the case. But maybe maybe she was talking about like a dude. She locked down a dude really hard. <laughs> oh, yeah. right. oh, it was a love Lock lockdown it. situation? Yeah. A Kanye? Yeah, 808 and Heartbreak for sure. Yeah, I had to lock it down. I had to lock it down for two weeks. It's like I, I went there. I had to lock it down for a couple weeks. Adam, I would love to go on a friendship vacation. Mm -hmm. Honestly, Mexico is kind of my retirement plan. I'm trying to be a Mexican, brother. I, I told <laughs> Chloe on more than one occasion how mm -hmm. much I think Blake would love Mexico. I'm oh, saying. Yeah. Specifically Punta Mita because it felt, it didn't feel, Cabo just felt like Southern California. It, I was like, oh, this right, is. Right, right. This is like uh, Newport Beach South. Okay, uh, okay. And, which I'm down um, for. Let's go. Nueve Porto. Sure, which is very, very nice. But Punta Mita felt like I'm like, oh, this is Mexico. <laughs> this is cool. Oh, I'm so jealous. Yeah, it's the best. It's not Nye. It's Nayarit is where it is. Sayulita Nayarit. That's uh -huh. where I think it is. All, all those words that you just said sound real to me, and I 100% believe you, Kyle. It's the best. Oh, and they roll off your tongue, and you are speaking my language, baby. Let's get there. Yeah, get your bum down there, man. It's so sick. As long as they understand margarita. <laughs> I might not come back, brother. I'm just saying. Uh, I didn't want to. When I went down there, I was down there for three weeks, and it was like I had Jesus. my wife, my kid down there, and it was mm -hmm. like, nah, man, I'm on the internet. I'm doing fine. I'm doing notes mm -hmm. on cuts. Like, yeah. I don't need to mm -hmm. go anywhere. Did you eat shrimp for every meal? Was it just shrimp? Well, I made the mistake when I went down there, and then it, it was like this awesome like taco uh stand on the beach so we're like at the resort so we're sitting there and it was like this beautiful the sun setting the birds are cacaying mm -hmm. and uh <laughs> and i was like I, they had just this monster margarita list and i'd lock eyes with chloe and i'm like yo let's take down this whole list right mm. and she's Short. like let's do it and two, like uh, two straws per kind of situation no we're like you guys are taste testing it are you guys fishbowling like we each have one and then we like kind of trade oh trade. damn and Ooh. so we marched down the list of like legit maybe almost 20. I did, we didn't do it exact count. It was oh, just I'm getting it. so excited. How? How? 20 margaritas? We were so fucking <laughs> drunk. The next, like, <laughs> ruined. <laughs> you got diabetes, dude. Ruined the next day. <laughs> like, the next day, I was like, that was, I was like, oh, this is the most hungover I've been. My head it was just yeah. like, yes. when Kyle said a few podcasts ago, like, <laughs> why he quit drinking is because the hangovers were so bad. We wanted to take like a, a an ice pick to his skull mm -hmm. or whatever yeah, he man. said. Uh, Fucking I, drill. I, I, I wanted to drill that shit. <laughs> I've never experienced that. Normally, my I can shake off a hangover within a couple hours. Yeah, it was like a, a day. And a, it was a day and a half. Oh, Come bro, on. I was catching up. Yeah, yeah, catching yeah. Up. That's yeah, my guy. <laughs> starting to, but, and also, Give me a hell oh yeah, hell oh yeah. And you're one of my you're one of my best drinking friends. To be honest, Thank you are you. great at it. Thank put you. Some, I, put yeah, some back. I do pride myself on how much I could, how much alcohol I could throw in my system. Yeah. So what what happened on that hangover day? Did you have shit that you had to do, or was it just a wash? What? Uh, <laughs> no, I went and did all kinds of shit. We went and we looked at uh, at an, another property and like toured the thing, and then and then you know I just uh, regrouped, again. regathered, and hit uh -huh. it again. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh -huh. and nothing that, like and, don't do what we did last night. Wait a second. <laughs> well, it was the only. I was like, well, I don't know. I was. I did a workout the next day to try to shake it off. There uh, we go. Uh, I puked in a bush. <laughs> like yes. that, I, did, I did a body weight workout on the um, on the beach and was just like, nah, and mm -hmm. then uh, so sick. And then and then went and did the yeah. He the is tour. so sick when he pukes. He's very and, sick. No, that's rad. It's poisoned. <laughs> yeah, he's in fact poisoned. And then and then I was like, uh, you know what? I need to maybe if I have another drink, it'll make me feel good. Yep, and that's, Chloe's yep. like. That's an insane thing to say. Like, and then of course I had one drink, felt great. Had yeah. three more, felt really great. Mm hmm. My yeah. boy. And see that, and that's for the youth of America. If you feel bad, just keep drinking. Allegedly. No, just... <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> have any of you guys been to Mexico City? Uh uh. I have not. That's kind of. I think I want to do that. I flew into there because we had to, when we went from Punta Mita to Cabo, uh -huh. there was no direct flight. You had to fly, weirdly, you had to fly all the way to Mexico City and then turn right. around and fly all the way. And uh, it, it, don't go, man. It, just from the little uh, window, I was like, this is the smoggiest city I've ever seen in my life. Mm. It's worse than flying into LA when it's at its smoggiest. I'm like, oh, I this is... Truly yuck, yuck I, mode. 
I'm hmm. with you. I know that's gross, but I kind of want to see what's up in in underneath that smog. You know what I yeah. mean? Like I want to go to New York in '77 and see what that was like. Yeah, mm-hmm. I hear it's awesome well, over there in Mexico well, City. We, well, it was gigantic. It was like it's huge. It, it's like 15 million people, right? Like when you fly into LA, you can see the outskirts of LA. I mean, right. it's far, but you're like, oh, this is a giant city. But right. you could see it. You could you're see like, the there mountains. are those outskirts out you there. You could see skirting. the mountains, and you're right. like, it's skirting out there. Uh-huh. And with, starting to skirt. <laughs> skirt. Uh, so no skirt, 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 skirt. Skirt. Did not even like mini skirts. Zero skirts. It just kept going. Uh, <laughs> I haven't spent a lot of time in Mexico. I didn't know how much of it was really a thing. The guy when we were uh, the car service that took us from the hotel to the um, resort was like, do you guys want to go to the um, pharmacy? And I'm, I don't, it, you know, I'm like not a pill guy. So I don't even know that that's a thing. So oh. I was like, uh, and Chloe needed like toothpaste. She forgot toothpaste. So I'm like, I guess, mm-hmm. yeah, if it's on the way, we'll stop. And, uh, and so he's like, I got you. And he took us there, no toothpaste. And it's just like a wall of drugs. And then they hand me a yeah. uh, um, a menu. And I was like, oh, do I get into drugs on this trip? Hey. What they had to offer you? They, they had everything, dude. They had Xanax, which I've never really fucked with, but I know mm-hmm. people love. They had pain pills that I don't fuck with, but like I know people do. And then they had steroids, which I was like, oh, no <laughs> how do they like label them? Are there like sections? Like human growth hormones. Yeah, there was like painkillers. Like, like a picture of like a buff dude. So you're like, oh, this is the steroids over here. Wait, 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 wait. Let's not let let's not bury the headline. What was up with them dick pills? <laughs> they do have that. Yeah, they had dick pills. They for <laughs> sure had dick pills. Yeah, I was like, oh, all right, Chloe, go get in the car. <laughs> yeah, one of the dick pills. <laughs> yeah, it's just like, oh, you know, it'd be hilarious if we got like a thousand <laughs> dick pills and gave it to people as jokes. That'd be that'd be hilarious. Prank wars. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I give you guys each like two dick pills, like as a joke. Hey, what happened to the other uh, 990 <laughs> dick pills, Adam? Uh, I don't know. Please touch it. It's going to explode. That'd be a cool wedding, though. Everybody's just mm-hmm. got boners all the time. <laughs> Dude, bone tent. Uh, I'd be down for that. When I lived in Orange County, like that was one of the first things I did when I moved down there was mm-hmm. go to Mexico strictly for pain pills because I just wanted, I loved them. I absolutely fucking yeah. loved pain pills, and they sold you them for problem. nothing. Wow. Yeah, 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 that's sad. Know. Yeah, I don't <laughs> fuck with. Uh, I don't really fuck with pain pills. Remember when I broke my ribs jumping on a, a trash can when we were filming Workaholics? Like, I, or I cracked her ribs. Yes. Yeah, we do. We do. We do. Yes. Remember. I'm Super for hurt. Uh, and they gave they gave me some big fat fucking pain pills. Mm-hmm. And then I, I like forgot to take them. I was just like, because oh. you're so fucking tough, dude. You are tough as nails. I don't, it's not that. I just was like, I don't want these. What was in the my shit? Body. I I only you like them what? because I have had obviously a lot of injuries uh, to my bodies. Uh-huh. Uh, I don't. I only like them for the first few days when the pain is like intolerable. But then after that, I don't like feeling. Uh, I'm already a certain amount of dumb and I feel like mm-hmm. pain pills dumb you down even further. And I'm like, I'm not trying to go to like right. true ignoramus levels. Oh, I, dude. I, I like to keep my, my level of dumb. I dude. dug them so much. I mean, and I still really dig them that so much that I don't take them because of that, because I just am like fucking. Cause what, what's the, like, what's, what does it answer? What's it ticking? Yeah, what do you... People do lo- love them. I just love the way it makes you feel. Like you just get stuck to the couch. You feel like kind of like vibro, like a little like trippy vibro. and like strange and shit. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's like, I don't know. I just dig it. Like when I was in high school, I uh, broke my arm and I never took the pain pills. When I needed them, I saved them for after I was healed so that I could get mm-hmm. the full feeling of the pain pills. Because uh, mm-hmm. I just loved them. I would... Huh. I just... I mm. dug the way it made you feel. You just started breaking your arms. Yeah, Kyle's just taking hammers to well, his uh, uh, shins. To that's what I I broke them a few times in in high school, and I saved them, and I would always get reloaded and stuff like that. And then my girlfriend had back issues, so she had a whole bunch of like soma and coating and shit. And she would hook them up. You started kicking her in the back. You would specifically only date women who were 
previously injured and uh-huh. had pain pills. Well, she she, ho- she hooked it up. Yeah, Kyle would cruise the the <laughs> high school or <laughs> cruise the nurse's office, being like, "Has uh-huh. anyone uh, recently Anybody? hurt themselves? You're looking real pretty today." <laughs> Yeah, dude. You're beautiful. Let me carry you up those steps. Give oh, those crutches went, a break. So the the main headline is it made you feel vibro. Yeah. yeah. It made me feel vibro. Like, I really uh-huh. dug it. Yeah, yeah. And we can quote that. And we are cro- <laughs> quoting you as saying it makes pain pills make me feel vibro. <laughs> yeah, dude. dude. Yeah. Okay. We got to get some merch, some, like, wraps, <laughs> some, like, ace bandages that just say vibro. I'm when vibro. I went on, a, I went on a fucking family cruise to Mazatlan, Puerto Vallarta, and, um, and Cabo. Okay. And and I bought fucking pain pills there too, and I put them in my jacket. I got a big old bag. I got them for nothing. Put them in my jacket pocket. And as I was walking back onto the boat with my family, they were like, they patted down my packet, my pocket. And I was like, oh, your family did? Fuck no, the fucking the guys that were like making sure you didn't bring anything in. Oh, right. and they control? found this bag of pain pills. Uh huh. And they so what did they do? They took it from me and they took my name and I did that shit on the sly. Like nobody in my family saw this happen. And so I'm like, Thankful. okay. okay uh, I'm Kyle, good. that episode did not get my pecker hard. Then <laughs> I, uh, then we're, we're about to fucking. I knew something was up. I knew you were too vibro uh, <laughs> on that track. Yeah, I was <laughs> bummed. Then I need I, to talk to you. <laughs> I was bummed because I was like, I couldn't get vibro. Mm-hmm. And then I like, uh, at the end of the trip, we were all waiting to de board the ship or whatever it is and they call my name over the intercom they're like kyle knew come to customs oh did you mm. win something <laughs> your oh mom is like well, Lucky fun. You, kyle. and i was like and my whole family my grandpa my fucking they're like what's going on i'm like mom come with me because <laughs> because i needed i knew i was about to get fucked and so i like i on the way over there i talked to my mom i was like look i i smuggled some pain pills back in i have some pills that are I thought we're going to get my pecker hard, but... And she was fucking... She was fucking cool. She say, sweetheart, I know at dinner yeah. last night, you were way too vibro. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no, she was cool, man. She honestly, like, vouched for me and got me off the hook, and I just wasn't... What did she vouch for you, meaning, like, oh, he needs pain kills, this guy's... No, I, we came up... Because I, I was dating a girl that n- needed pain pills at the oh. time, and oh so we came God. up with a plan that was like, look, uh, I'm going to say that... You're Eminem. You're the M and M of our friend group. Uh, we're gonna say that I got this from my girlfriend, and 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 I, my mom actually might have not even known that I might have been lying to her and saying like oh, I got sure. this from my girlfriend. Yeah. Can you please help me? I didn't know it was illegal. Um, Kyle, and then I, I didn't like the podcast. Is it illegal? I, don't, I, I mean, I statute of limitations, player. It's all good. No, I mean, uh, like, <laughs> is it illegal to go and buy medication down there and come? People do it. All the time. I don't think it's illegal, but I think you have to have some kind of proof that you need this drug to come back into America with it. 16? I was 17 at the time. 17. Uh, Yeah, Yeah, you were a kid, so... Uh, I was like, because the list was fucking extensive, and if Chloe was like, yo, let's get out of here, what are we doing? We have Margaret... It was like right when we first got to Mexico, Mm -hmm. now we're just in this pharmacy instead of on a beach, and she's like, let's get out of here, and I'm like, hang on. I'm reading this. I'm reading this list. Uh, I was like, you can get true steroids. I was thinking maybe we all. Uh, I bring them back, and as like a, uh, a you know, kind of a fun uh, mm-hmm. thing that we do on the podcast. We all take steroids for a month and see uh, who has the biggest arms and limits. No, who's <laughs> oh. got the smallest nuts? Yeah, yeah. whose who's nuts uh, shrink the most? We'll all measure our nuts, and mm-hmm. then. At the end of one month of taking steroids, we <laughs> measure our, our nuts and see who shrunk the most. Is that a real mm-hmm. thing? Well, and then we'll and then we'll post we'll post and we'll have people vote on who has the smallest nuts. Has- <laughs> what do you mean? You measure them. That's not like a vote. No, 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 no. no. I do vote. I do <laughs> votes. No, no, no. We measure and then we have people vote on like cuteness or oh, like cuteness of the nuts. Or we have people Is that a real thing? Guesstimate how many wrinkles we have combined in our scrote. Steroids uh, shrink your balls? Is that real? Like a real yeah. thing? Well, that's... Is that real, Bam? <laughs> <laughs> Hit it. Uh, Hit it. real? <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm going off of like 80s, like Saved by yeah. the Bell shit from uh, AC Slater. I'm so sure. excited. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesse and her diet pills? Damn, legendary. Spano. Legendary. Yeah, I bet, I bet they have some good diet pills too. Dang, I fucking blew it. I should have been buying it up. Yeah. 
You could have yeah, had you, some shredders. But guys, I think we found a, a venue uh, for the wedding. It's gonna be uh, it's gonna nice. be kick butt. Do you want to announce it here and the date and everything? Yeah, <laughs> address. Uh, yeah, I'd like to tell everybody uh, before I fully know. <laughs> yeah, before you've talked it over with your wife. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, before we made a full decision. You're gonna cool. want to talk it over, baby. I already said it on the pod. We have to do it. We have to do it there. We have to. <laughs> yeah. Uh, me undies is going to be pissed if uh, <laughs> I'll lose my me undies. Is the wedding going to be brought to you by me? Yeah, it's, it's it's sponsored by our by our sponsors. It's manscaped. Bro. Uh, <laughs> that's smart. Honestly, otherwise it's brought to you by Beast Mode. And do um, you Adam take me undies? <laughs> and now the ring presented by Tushy. <laughs> it's so cuz your ass needs to be washed. And now the ring yeah. brought to you by Ring. Yeah, weddings are too damn expensive for what they are. You know what I mean? Like if you could get them. Thank you, Kyle. Now, now finally, Thank we're you. getting oh, into it. It's, yeah. it's a machine. It. It's a whole industry it is. now. Fucking someone said it. Thank God. God. It is. It's expensive. Uh, and the cakes. Oh, the cakes. The cakes. It, it, the cakes. And you have to go to the certain people that work uh, with the venue, oh. and they really just hold you over a barrel. Finally, someone, someone taking the wedding industry to task. Thank mm. you. And the dick pills you have to buy for your entire <laughs> wedding party? All the dick pills you have to buy oh for the entire... Gosh. I mean, it will be fun God. when I buy us all dick pills and make us take them one hour before the ceremony. And that just will be great. That'll be a ceremony. <laughs> and ceremony. just... Ceremony. You're always... Dude, I'm down. Uh, that will be tight. Just to fucking, and we're all wearing like kilts, like those super white, <laughs> yeah. those white dude weddings are like, we're wearing kilts. Steve yeah. doesn't have anything on underneath. <laughs> Fucking Steve. <laughs> that would be so funny if you like orchestrated the outfits that we had to wear so we couldn't protect our boners and then yeah. spiked our fucking, yeah. <laughs> spiked us yeah. with boner pills. I spike your margaritas. Yeah. And we're all standing up there like fucking, uh. Hey guys, uh, make sure you lick the salt. Lick the salt. Protect your boners. Why? Okay. Make okay. sure you lick the salt. Lick the salt. I don't know. Adam had, like, he had like no rules. 20 margaritas. <laughs> But he made us lick the salt. And he made us wear these uh, linen white pants. <laughs> Brought to you by uh, MeUndies. <laughs> he made us wear these MeUndies. Well, it's a beach wedding. I guess he really... It's a beach wedding. It makes sense. Yeah, it's all good. He really wanted us in all linen, everything. Huh. It was a trip. <laughs> Blake's Bro, are, you, are you hard right now? <laughs> I've been hard all it's, weekend. <laughs> it, something has made my pecker hard. It's hurting. <laughs> it won't go down. It hurts. <laughs> it hurts. I just want to oh, be flat. The shrimp tacos must be an aphrodisiac because I want to fuck everything. <laughs> Ultimate uh, prank, dude. It's so dude, good. Dude, prank wars. How, hey, how seriously, though, how were the shrimp tacos? Real, real good though. Thank you for being serious about that, and I'd like to answer that also seriously. Uh, really good. Yes. Was that the number one stunner? Like, was that the go-to? Uh, the tacos. The there was like a dope taco stand right on the beach. And right, right. That was night one, and uh, yeah, that I was like a real banger. There was also some like cool local restaurants that we went to. Mm-hmm. That uh, in Punta Mita, we got a. You rented a golf cart for like. Forty dollars a day or something, pr- right. very reasonable, and uh, you you're able to drive it into town and shit, mm-hmm. and um, and yeah, we went to a few local restaurants. It was fucking awesome. It was it was so cool. I, can't, I cannot wait to go back with all of you guys. Oh, can't friend. wait to yeah. be there. I'm gonna turn, hey, you know what? I'm going to turn it into a, a vacation. I'm going to stay for four hundred extra days on the back. Uh, there we go, my Dude. guy. Tbh, can Good I idea. Toll. Can I join you? I don't know. Uh, it's kind of a family thing for him, but uh, <laughs> All right. he'd probably be there for like the wedding stuff. Do you want to like, like entertain okay. my kids or some shit? I would. Uh, I would love to be the babysitter. Uh, thank you. Blake's the nanny, dude. That's ooh, Mr. That's nanny. Cool. I'm yeah. Down. I'm down. Yeah. Oh my god, you guys! Yesterday, I fucking divined it. Oh, you, you almost Uh-oh. killed Uh-oh. someone. Uh-oh. You almost died yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did you? Did you almost fight someone? You almost die. I was on a bike. No, I was. Uh, I took like a pre workout at four nice. p.m. when I was doing a little workout, <laughs> and uh, I fell asleep oh, at six a.m. You fell asleep <laughs> at six p.m. Six a.m. Okay. Oh. Holy shit! Well, I, I will say things affect you a lot. 
Like you don't like yes, you, you don't are. really smoke that much weed. You don't do d- that many energy drinks because mm-hmm. I think uh, things affect uh, you greatly, right? Yeah. Can, is that a fair assessment? Yeah, I mean, I do, but so I usually do like a workout around nine a.m., nine thirty. So I'll take it then, and I don't have trouble sleeping. But dude, fucking after four, I was wide awake. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, I it was a out last night at like eight o'clock and took pre workout right before, and then fucking. When'd you fall asleep? I did. I fell asleep. Uh, and and guess what, guys? But you're doing. You're I've, doing uh, your, your potion. No, I, I stopped. <laughs> I'm three days. I'm three yeah, days without man. the potion. Oh, oh good. Man. Man. Oh, oh my good. God. Good, good, uh, good. Good job, man. I get a lot of people like I they are like, hey, great job. The pod is so cool. But like, what's up with Adam? Is he serious or is that a bit? Like, we're worried about him. Yeah, is he seriously kick ass? Uh <laughs> yeah. Yeah. a lot of people like, are I, mm-hmm. yeah, he's seriously awesome. <laughs> I think the yeah, a yeah, lot of however, people are hitting me up going seriously awesome. However you want to spin it, yeah, however you want to spin it. But a lot of people Send hit me them. up and say like they're honestly worried about you and, yeah. and why are they going through you? Yeah, I well, I'm I just talking the to them. are like uh <laughs> what are you talking about? they're they're kind of the bitch of our fans. They're like the mm-hmm. bitches of our fans. Yeah. They're they're motherly. Yeah. They're motherly. However you like to spin it, I'm just relaying the message and I'm happy that you've stopped. <laughs> uh, he's still going to spin it. Well, I have I have stopped for uh, three whole days. Uh so so that's uh that's it's been going great. That's good. Well, uh, Durs, I can speak to like no, I'm a good sleeper. I can fall mm-hmm. asleep nice, very well. I hate the feeling of being restless and not being able to go to bed. That's why I, I will admit I have tried cocaine once in my life, and I mm-hmm. absolutely nice. hated it because I could not fall asleep, and it drove right. me mm. insane. Uh, right, right, yeah. I mean, this was a step down from that. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, actually, it might not be. It's called like it's this pre workout that I grabbed. I usually do this other brand, but I ran out and I just went to GNC and got it. It's called Lit AF. And oh, it's yeah, like, no, that's cocaine. That's cocaine. It's like gummy worm flavor. It's insane. <laughs> oh, I fucking love pre workout stuff. <laughs> I uh, in another life, I feel like I would have been a cokehead. Like I just, oh, yeah. I, you know, I just don't like the feeling. If you were more in your prime in the eighties, you would be coke to the wall. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, right. be, yeah. I'd be coke right. to the max for well, sure. Cocaine mm-hmm. also fucking rules. It's so dope. Not yeah, <laughs> it's really dope. I, yeah, don't, I don't know. I love never that shit. It. Okay. Yeah. You've never done cocaine? <laughs> Me? Yeah. I'm so glad yeah, you I haven't. I'm no? so glad see. you haven't. Wow. It, it's can you imagine? Can you the, my whole thing is like I'm just not a hard drug guy, but I'm like, can you imagine me on cocaine? Yes, you'd be Patrick Bateman. No, I wouldn't want I wouldn't want to. You would be up for a week straight. You would you yeah. would just see a bag of cocaine and it, all of a sudden just start sprinting somewhere. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> you gotta you try be, it, dude. <laughs> no, I don't think there's <laughs> needs to. I'm not really interested in I I wonder <laughs> what drug I would want to do um you should do know. some micro dosing of shrooms i think that might that might do you yeah the silly cybin bro oh you've you've never done mushrooms either huh no Jersey? no yeah my mushrooms gosh. are my favorite drug i will yeah. say uh uh i haven't done like all the drugs but i've done a, a fair amount of drugs and mushrooms a handful are for sure uh my favorite it's awesome and that's just you just you're just hallucinating and going, wow, look at uh that possum over there, but really it's like a uh, cuckoo clock. Nah, well, I've only done it as a psycho. Uh no, it's not it's very rarely you're very rarely seeing shit, but uh mm-hmm. you have to take yeah. a lot. Uh but I mean I used to do a lot of mushrooms in <laughs> in high schools. Hey kids, uh <laughs> if you want to get ahead in life. <laughs> Allegedly, yeah. Um, <laughs> I uh, yeah, I, I probably did it like twenty five times in high school, and nice. it uh, twenty. But who's counting? <laughs> yeah, like I mean, dozens, like a couple dozen, probably. Right. And yeah. uh, it's and then less as I've gotten older, just because you know you just kind of do less drugs. You're you got to be somewhere. Yeah, mm-hmm. you have things to do. Yeah, but uh, it's just the fucking best. It's you. You laugh so hard. Colors are more vibrant. Oh and my I, gosh! I, I just started. Uh, not just started, but I've uh, like two years ago. I went to a buddy's birthday party, mm-hmm. and we all uh, microdosed and out in mm-hmm. the desert. And I'm like, well, I was like, I don't know if I really want to be on mushrooms right now. This is more of a party atmosphere. I'm trying to. Were you, drink. Is that the Friday that you were there, and I came on Saturday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Exactly. You came the next day. And I was yeah. like, I don't know if I really want to do this. And 
uh, our buddy, whose birthday it was, he was like, it's a microdose. It's not the same. You're not going to trip balls. It's just kind of the the fun effects where everything mm-hmm. you're just giggly and uh, everything's um, like in super focus. Vibrant. Like every, everything's vibrant. The colors are, are on and popping. And I'm like, all right, I'll give it a go. Vibro? <laughs> vibro. And I, I was fully vibroed. <laughs> fully and, vibro. And so then we took it. And I was like, "Oh, this is uh, this is the, why am I not doing this every day? Right when oh I wake gosh. up in the morning, I just, allegedly." I didn't do shrooms until microdosing became like an, an idea because before it was like just fucking take the Balls eight to the to dome, right, and it's like right. I'm so scared of doing that because I already have a vivid imagination, very nervous as to where I'm going to go. Yeah, you're but, talking about colors, and I'm like, I feel like colors are. They're doing their thing already for me. Yeah, that's why I stayed away from the hallucinogens and all that because I'm like, dude, I'm already like fucking pretty vibro, yeah. like just yeah, walking you are around. Yeah, vibro. Yeah, and yeah there's like, no doubt in my mind about that. You're yeah, so but vibro. the the, the micro dosing was something else. Like that's like it's cool because you can just take a little tiny drop and then like you're like, oh. Do you think that dude Mike Rowe has his own line of micro dose? I hope so. Dirty jobs. <laughs> it's a dirty job. Hey, it's me with the hat. I got Mike Rowe doses. Damn. That'd be fucking you've got, sick. You're on to something. Well, I feel every time I've ever done mushrooms, uh, like a real amount of mushrooms, not just like a little microdose, I always think like that you have you have it figured out. Yeah. Like the universe. Shit, shit becomes like, clear to you. You're like, yes, right. you know what? I, I understand it now. And then as soon as you get sober again, like six, six eight mm-hmm. hours later, you're like, what the fuck did I have figured out? Mm-hmm. Son of yeah. a bitch. I, and actually, uh, me and my homie, Austin, who you guys know, we actually, back in the day when we were like 19 years old, we filmed ourselves uh, tripping so we could look back and be like, well, that then we'll look back and kind of right, know, right. hopefully maybe we said something to where we could figure it all out. The the universe basically, and yeah. then we just went back and looked at it's like an eight hour tape of us just like touching the popcorn ceiling on our shitty apartment and being yeah. like, "Whoa, you've got to feel this, dude!" Right? <laughs> Damn, it's a state of mind, man. Children poisoned, feeling walls. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta see those tapes. Exactly right. What about LSD? Have you have you guys ever fucked with LSD or? I, I've never oh, that I've done a ton of. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude, yeah, that's that's yes. that's regular, brother. Uh, spinal tap. There's went right to acid. Well, that's what I mean. I was tripping like my my pops was like LSD was my favorite drug, and I was like, oh really? Well, that was a more of a seventies drug. I mean, people still I mean, obviously still do it, but like that was uh, big in the seventies. I've never done it again. That feels that feels harder to control than Billy Sidebin. It just feels like it's not gonna be well with a mushroom. Mushrooms, you see how much you're ingesting and it was just grown from the earth like with acid like when you do if like they put it on a tab or i've seen people i've never done it myself either but like they put on a gummy you're like you don't know how much they accidentally squirted from their little uh it's droplet it it feels much Mm -hmm. more of like a medication laboratory thing than anything else you know like yeah a bathtub by the way this laboratory you're imagining is like some fucking dank funky ass kitchen where they're like (laughs) <laughs> pulling it all together, and you might die, you might not. Yeah, this isn't Cal State Berkeley, brother. Just put some palm olive in there to give it some texture, <laughs> a little slickness to it. Yeah, put some dye in it. Yeah, my dad said something like, he was like, when the, when you were born, uh, I was so worried that I had been doing too much acid and I was going to, like, you were going to come out fucked up. And I was and you like, did. oh, okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he was right. Uh, you did, dude. I think he's on to something. A <laughs> <laughs> oh, Bro, he made me a cake for my for my birthday. The cause of diarrhea. <laughs> for my birthday this, this year, like right before I came up to Toronto. <laughs> and it says... Happy birthday from your arugaloids. And wow. it's like, and it's a fucking like cool ass confetti cake. And he put arugula on the outside of it and he put it on the icing and shit. And I was Ooh. like, wow, you put arugula on the cake. That's really cool. And my mom's like, yeah, I had to talk him out of like actually baking the arugula into the cake. Yeah. And I was like, really? And my dad's like, I wanted to do it. It's a great idea. It would have been fantastic. <laughs> like, that is Dad. great. Diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. The cause of diarrhea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> But big shout out to the cause of diarrhea. Like, that is really sweet of him. I forget your birthday is 
days away. Yeah, coming yeah. up in a, just a few minutes. Fuck, what are we gonna do, bro? You're like, should we paint paintball? Oh, dude, I'm, yeah, I'll have to do it when I come back because I am currently in Toronto in an apartment quarantining by myself. How long? How long are you up there for? Uh, I'm up here for about three months. Uh, no. I come back in April. Oh. Yeah, months. But that's I have not, to. That's I, not dude, too bad. Uh, I have to quarantine for fucking. This is day two. They the yeah. Canada makes mm-hmm. you quarantine for fourteen days. Yeah, with rough. like armed guards out there now. No armed guards, but there's a hefty fine if you get caught. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah. I think the personal fine is a thousand dollars or whatever, but the company's but fine is a the million. Rush? That's worth the rush of running. The company's out fine is a million dollars really? if I get caught out on this. Yeah, so you don't want to be that guy that like fully just fucks the production up because you had to go get a cheeseburger somewhere. You know yeah, what I mean? No. I- or sorry, an arugulaid <laughs> sandwich. Oh, so you're not gonna send it. I'm not going to send it. I'm going to ask somebody to send it to me via Instacart, I'm bro. I'm going to send it. <laughs> Come on, dude. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's a lot. I'm going to Charleston here in about a month now, and mm. uh, I don't think they, they make you do shit. <laughs> like, I've been yeah. talking to people. They're like, it's fully open. You can do whatever the fuck you want. Just don't. You got to kiss this dog. <laughs> Just don't catch COVID, <laughs> basically. But yeah. I'm going to be out there for uh, six months shooting oh my the Righteous God. Gemstones. Good I know. I'm going to come visit. I, I don't know how uh, how you guys are doing out there, but we're, like, taking tons of um, uh, breaks. Like, every, like, two weeks they have, like, a week off built in. Mm. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it's smart, especially if there's no real, very like, regulations of people coming in because you're going to put – I disagree. You're going to get – you you have to build those in because you will get postponed because the, the new no, rules of the film industry the, I, is like you will. But that's the dumbest thing ever. You're gonna give everyone a week to go fuck around and like be social. That's stupid. You're gonna get. You're gonna have things. You're gonna get. Somebody's gonna get it right. So you might as well not have those breaks because you're gonna have those breaks at some point anyway. Oh, I think all of this shit is insane. We should be shooting in a bubble. Sorry, Adam. Go ahead. Just know that for sure we're gonna try to get everything done in however long it three three or four months, however long it'll actually take us to shoot 10 episodes. Mm-hmm. It'll take us four months, but just know that w- there will be at least a month of delays because for someone's sure. going to get COVID. Right. That's yeah. what That's what I'm not looking... They've already delayed production for two weeks, uh, so I came out here two weeks later, and I'm, I'm like, I'm at the point where I'm having a baby at the end of the schedule. So mm-hmm. it's like... Ooh. Uh, <laughs> I can't really do the whole postpone, so we got to be fucking good. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I got. Mm. Otherwise, it's like I don't know what or what. It, and then, what are you gonna name? Since uh, you named your other child an Italian name because you're in Italy, uh, when that child, uh, when you're Drake. naming that child, what are you gonna name this? Since you're up in Toronto, is it gonna be this the six Aubrey O V O? It's Aubrey. Yeah, we're, we're Aubrey. Aubrey's kind of tight. <laughs> Yeah, Aubrey's tight, gonna... dude. I'll bring that back to the wife. What about just Ron- Ronto? <laughs> Ronto. Ronto Nuwajek. Oh, Ronto. That's sick. That's a sick baby name. Tori. Pretty sick. Tori. Or uh, what is that? Tor- Putin? Putin? Putin. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Putin. <laughs> Putin. Putin. Uh, Putin Nuwajek. Putin Nuwajek. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We Gravy fries. We haven't really gone down it. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what's up. It'll pop out. No, announce it here. I want Adam yeah. told where he's Come getting on. married. What's your baby's <laughs> name? Exclusives. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> mm, we haven't decided yet. Uh, currently undecided. We call her. That's so tight. Currently undecided. I call her what about Nug. Todd. I call her think... Nug right now because new check and born girl. Right, right, right. That's cool, right? Oh, and also smoke weed every day. All right, thank you, baby. New check unborn. Did you just announce the gender? On the <laughs> The, yeah. the sex, I should say. What do we nice. Say? The, I know it's that. the sex. Cool. That's a scoop. We got the scoop, guys. Yeah. Arugaloids, you have your princess. <laughs> <laughs> Kyle, you got to be careful with your leaks, bro. We know. Yeah. We Off pod, we know what's going down. Oh, I know. I've... We'll, we'll delete it. He be we'll leaking. <laughs> yeah. Well, I hope people will fucking... Our boy be leaking. <laughs> yeah, I hope they help me edit this shit now. Like, come on now. <laughs> Give me yeah, well, it's we'll all right, man. It. There's a, you know, there's only well now there's more than two genders, so yeah, you you did fuck up. Well, so it's not, actually, uh, it's a spectrum. I said the sex. It's a sex. Oh, the sex. Okay, okay, okay. We okay. already covered this. And there's a spectrum of that too. 
Okay. So everything's okay. a spectrum, Kyle. Wait, what's Kyle, the spectrum so of sex? Yeah, there's other there's other spect there's other sexes. Sex? Yeah. You know how like some guys have like the clit right above the penis? Oh, Ooh. right. Yeah. Herm hermaphrodites. And it's not weird to have that? No, not okay. at all. For the last time? It is not weird. Normal not as all. fuck. And it tickles. I, I wish I did. I wish <laughs> sure I had got it. it. I'm saying. I wish I had hella clits. Anyways, cut all that out. Thank you very much. Where were cut we? All that out. <laughs> Where were we? <laughs> so that's crazy. You're gonna. That's crazy, so cool. Crazy. <laughs> so Kyle, you're a four, you're 14 days in the box. You yep. know, I, I personally, I have set a new personal low. I just dumped a motherfucking 3,000 piece puzzle over at my house. So what are you doing to kill the time? Whoa. Yeah. Uh, well, it's I, bad. Damn, 3,000 piece puzzle. That's amazing. You know, and if I could just take a little time to talk to our listeners about jigsaw puzzles, I know it's a hot topic out there. God dang, this is this is gonna hit a lot of people over the head. I'm hit a big puzzler. Give me a hell yeah! Uh, I've hell done, yeah! I've done about twelve thousand piece puzzles in the quarantine. Um, Get but em. This is my first time ever dumping out a three thousand piece puzzle. That's Get amazing. Em. How vibrant are the colors? Are they vibrant enough? It's are or, they vibro? Well, what sucks about uh, a three thousand piece puzzle is if you really don't like the image, it's it's basically torture. So right, right. now, I just I don't even have a kitchen because there's just puzzle pieces everywhere. It's huh. it's bad. That's fantastic. It's terrible. That's that's a lot of patience. How long does it take you to do that? The thousand. I mean, just go on the thousand. The thousand. That'll yeah. take me about two to three weeks, probably. And did you grow? Did you like grow up? I remember. Didn't you like grow up all kind of having puzzles out around Christmas time? I remember like coming over to your like mom and stepdad's house and there was a puzzle out. Mm -hmm. I remember being yes. like th these these are puzzle people. Yes, yeah. like, yes, I actually, the puzzles. I did grow up uh, in a puzzling family, which also brought me to ask you guys a question. What up? Did you grow up on and this might be some like oaky stuff. Did you guys ever grow up with Puzzles glued together as a piece of art in your house. <laughs> uh, no, absolutely not. I mean, my mom has like hilariously, you know, n not shots fired against her, but like very Midwestern style of art that she thinks is awesome. Like, what does that mean to people? That that means uh, she likes like wooden uh, things that have words on them that is inspiring. Like right. I've, I, even I have from a story way back, on my, or like I know she, I know the whole crib is decked out now, but like, well, n now it's like that. It used to be just like oh. kind of watercolors of like a a river or something, and mm -hmm. it just it looks it, it it was like oh obviously this was sold at like a TJ Maxx right. And that she was like, well, I got to get that. For like, her, did right? you have, did you guys ever have, like, did you know what precious moments were? They were like those little, yeah. like, dolls with the eyes. And they'd be like with their little sister with a teddy bear and stuff. It yeah. was. Yeah. I had, I had one of those. My mom had mad tons of them. <laughs> in my precious workaholics moments. office that I had, I got from my grandma's, like, garage and put up in the workaholics office. Uh, Just precious moments for days. I remember that. I remember that, Durs. We had like Viking ships and stuff around the house. <laughs> <laughs> I shit you not. It was all just like Norwegian longboats. Uh, I love just the Nordic theme. You just had cool, yeah, death metal shit all over the place. <laughs> no, Helmets. just uh, the boats. Just like paintings of boats and ships and Vikings. Hey, you know what? It starts with boats. It ends with uh, burning churches. <laughs> yeah, I wonder like what our weird shit will be. Because, you know, I mean, I look at, like, my grandmother and, like, her her decorations. She got in – she, like, loved birds. So, like, mm -hmm. as soon as you are old and, like, people are like, well, we have to get something for grandma for her house because she loves right. birds. And you she pick loves an birds. Animal. Then you're like, well, she loves cardinals. So her whole fucking house was just <laughs> – it was a fucking Dude. atrium in there. There were right. so many cardinal. It's so true. Like, and then she like got into painting, but specifically on porcelain plates that mm -hmm. she would paint. Damn. And and at first she wasn't that good at painting. So you saw the progression progression of her like shitty bird paintings. And mm -hmm. then like she got pretty decent. We're like, actually, this one does look like a, a bird. Yeah, you can hang that one up. Yeah. But then they're all hanging around the house. 
And then, and then you're just like, it, it, you, it didn't even dawn on me until much later that it's such an insane thing to just have hundreds of pieces of bird art in yes. your pretty, pretty reasonably small home. Yeah. Uh, just decked out. That's and, a trip. It's a yeah, trip. My aunt, go my, to, mom, or my, my nana had uh, had fucking spoons on wooden yeah. like cutout yeah, things that one. were just like spoons <laughs> were all over the fucking living room, and it's like, yeah. why are there spoons everywhere? I, because, because bro, <laughs> she's cooking. She was a heroin addict. Too. Yeah, <laughs> she's <laughs> free basin, dog. My mom had hot knives on the wall, bro. <laughs> I mean, a, a lot of people, you just, you, you pick things up from your travels. Like, I think my parents, right. like, sure. had some fucking sick honeymoon <laughs> that they went on, like, b way before uh, they had kids and shit, you know? Mm -hmm. So they had, like, I think they went to, like, Russia. My mom was a stewardess, so she had, like, unlimited miles, and they just fucking walked the earth. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa, yeah. I didn't... I mean, there's only a few things you can collect. It's either spoons, shot glasses, <laughs> magnets. It's whatever's in the airport. My mom did shot glasses. My mom had magnets. My mom did shot glasses as well. We had a sometimes yeah, you have a dad ball. had uh, acid. My mom had shot glasses. <laughs> Bro, yeah. I came <laughs> out fine. Yeah. 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 Well, <laughs> my dad was hella worried. He's like, I just did fucking three hundred tabs of acid over the last couple of years. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, uh, I'm here. I'm yeah, good. Now my mom is it big into like wooden signs that say shit. Specifically mm -hmm. about like the lake. she just moved to, uh, to a lake a few years ago, mm -hmm. and uh, it uh, so many things that just say like lake life. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's and like hobby lobbied out. It's absurd. Yeah. And I've tried to talk to her, and I'm like, this is a lot. And she's like, well, no, there's hardly any pieces. And I'm well, like, she like, it's a bit, you fucking it's idiot, a bit, dude. It's idiot. Funny, I thought though. you were into comedy. <laughs> it's hilarious. Yeah, but so that's what is that? Is that like an Amazon addiction that she's just like constantly looking for new fucking accoutrement? No, no, no. It's she's not buying a lot of this stuff. Yeah. Where's she's it coming buying from? A lot of, I think it's she mm -hmm. like had one or two things, mm -hmm. and then she tells people like. This is my shit. I like having like wooden signs. And then right. people are like, Penny likes wooden signs. Penny yeah. likes yep. wooden signs. So when they come and stay, they bring one. And then and then she's just gifted so many signs. Yeah. And I'm like, you don't need to put all of them up. It's an insane amount. Because there's, I mean, it, it, I, it's in my Instagram story, like a highlight. Because I went around, and I'm like, Mom, this is a lot of words all over your house. And she's like, no, mm -hmm. there's just a few. And I'm like, I bet there's 60. And she's like, no. And I went around. There's like 50 or 60 mm -hmm. things that just say shit uh, all over. Just keep you entertained as you walk through the crib. But I'm like, wonder what my shit, like our shit is going to be. You know Blake is going to have the wackiest fucking house of all time. He already does. I already do. I don't know why we're saying yeah. what it's going to be. Like, we all <laughs> yeah, have homes just that about aren't what? bare walls. Like, Kyle has what? a ton of paintings that his wife did. Blake has a fucking, like, Pee Wee's Playhouse. Didn't, like, uh, your wife go, like, wild on lizards or some shit? Like, there was, li like, lizard art uh, all over? Oh, yeah, she did. We had a, we had a, she did. And you wild on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, yeah. she got a whole bunch of like a, bun a bunch of lizard art and yeah. put it in our room yes. that was like the lizard room, and it was yeah. insane. Yeah. It got to the level that we're talking about, and and I remember I was like, I didn't really have the heart. To, I was like, this is your art room. You do whatever you would like in here. That's fine. And then yes. you guys came over. I'm just gonna close these doors. And you guys roasted the room, <laughs> and then like not. I, yeah, I remember walking in and being like, holy shit, there's a lot of lizards in here, and you like, I remember and, you getting self conscious, like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah there is a lot, a it's whole cool. lot of lizards. Uh, <laughs> Lizards are actually cool. No, it was so perfect because it was one of those moments where I was like, all of a sudden I had a new fucking angle where I'm like, right. you know, the guys came over and they were like, <laughs> yeah. uh, don't they, they were like, wow, this is a yeah. lot of lizards. And I, I played it nice. It was, it's a big room. It was a main room in the house, I think was the, the shocking thing. It was tight. We had like all these weird, like 3D bumblebees and shit all over the place too. It was like, but. Oh, it wasn't great art. It was like outdoor art. It was just like exactly. Yeah, you had some cool ass shit, like some cool like native beaded art that was like, whoa, this is actually mm -hmm. a super from Sayulita. Yeah, like a super dope piece, and then it would be right next to that. Yeah, that like you got it from Marshalls on the discount rack, and it was like, uh, exactly. Well, yeah. Well, that's the thing is once you start to go down like. I like bumblebees. And yeah. you have like one piece of like cool bumblebee art or some shit. And then people and then all of a sudden you're like, well, I'm the bumblebee guy. Bumblebee tuna. 
and the, and then you need a fucking eighty five bumblebees in in an eight by thirteen room. You know what I mean? Exactly. And then, and then that's when it looks insane. If you like yeah. just have one or two bumblebees and you're like, oh, that's cool, and then you do other shit, then it's fine. It's it's when you go way too hard on one yeah. specific. And that was that room was a product of Amazon. That's why I asked because oh. she was just like, boom, let me get that. Boom, let right, me get that. Right. I think our duty as a podcast to all our fifty-five plus listeners out there, mm, just be careful so what animal you identify with because your grandchildren. Also, not fifty-five. You know, they, they're in their they're in their thirties. Yeah, it can happen early. Just be careful oh, if you're us, like, yeah. I love giraffes <laughs> because next thing you know, mm-hmm. they're gonna be some giraffes. For real, they're all they're raft be- out. You're going to be raft out. Dude, my aunt loves fucking Tweety Bird, man. And like, the, she, oh, the whole house oh is God. filled <laughs> with Tweety Bird. Yeah, that's too much. I love Tweety Bird. That's crazy. Like, unreal amounts of Tweety Bird everything. Oh my God. <laughs> what is to love about Tweety Bird? I don't know. She's uh, loved that's... Tweety Bird like since I could remember, since I was born, since <sighs> the 80s, since 84. Yeah, is that the worst Looney Tune character? Tweety Bird? What's wrong with Tweety Bird? You think? I'm just, I'm like. I'm trying to remember what Tweety Bird's vibe is. Uh, Tweety Bird, uh, right? Is, is it a girl? Like I taught I taught putty tat. Isn't Tweety that? Tweety Bird had like a less. Yeah, I taught I taught tweet- I, I taught I ta- putty tat. Yeah. yeah. Is it a girl or a boy? It doesn't, it, regardless. Yeah, fuck, yeah. Fuck <laughs> Tweety Bird. First of all, all birds kind of suck. Well, like all twe- birds are like. Uh, oh, I'm, whoa, I'm gonna, chill, I'll, bro. American, yeah, American yeah, eagles are <laughs> so tight, but dude, <laughs> owls, no. owls crane. fucking rock, bro. <laughs> owls are the sickest. Flamingos are so sick. No, dude, American eagles are not tight. Owls are so sick. <laughs> Flamingos are super dope. Owls are so not sick at all. F- first of all, you are wrong. Fuck you. Hey, fuck you. <laughs> Yo, you're about to get owl. No, you better no. chill. <laughs> they can they no, can hear Adam. you. Hey no, Adam, fuck you, dude. Fuck you. I beat you to it. I beat. I just beat you to fuck it, though. You, I, no, I already said it. Fuck you. Owls rock. Have you? When's the last time you saw a fucking owl? You prick. Uh, a few, a few years ago, okay. I moved, when I moved into my uh, house in Hollywood, there was a fucking. A few years ago, you're such a fucking dumbass. Oh, okay. There was a owl that lived in the tree that like refused to let me move in. He was like a total fucking dick. He'd swoop mm-hmm. down. Yeah, that's he'd right. Come They're out super on the balcony. He'd he'd uh, he'd hooed the shit out of me. Scared me to death. Fucking terrifying. Oh well, you're a weakling. <laughs> yeah, there's there's scary fucking terrifying. You're a weak ass. They are predators. No, I'm not, dude. I'm strong as hell. I'm. You're a fucking weak no. ass. I no, and I think you know that that is not true. I'm not a weak ass, and I'm also not scared. I'm not scared. Yeah. I just don't like them. You just said it scared the oh. shit out of you, and that's why you didn't like it, bro. <laughs> well, if you're standing on a balcony and all of a sudden something's like, oh, oh. That will scare the shit out of you, dude. Okay, so you're a weak ass, and that's why you don't like owls. No, I just, I don't like... I wouldn't st- I wouldn't stop my stride. I'd go owl, and I would keep walking. I just think you're dismissing the wisdom of one of the most majestic birds on planet Earth, and I think that's... What other birds are amazing, right? What other yeah. birds are other amazing? Birds? Well, a, a hawk, so a red-tailed like hawk, hawk is hawk, fucking ooh. cool. A peacock? <laughs> Hummingbirds? Hummingbirds. I mean, they're cool when they're flying, but but I'm saying woodpeckers—they make woodpeckers. that noise. They yeah, have woodpeckers a are the worst. Have you ever albatross? Like my parents' house, oh my, uh, my parents' so house. There's birds. a woodpecker right outside. It was the absolute worst thing because they start at like 4:30 in the morning, just pecking the fucking wood, dude. You should be up mm-hmm. making breakfast or something. I'm pissed now. <laughs> I'm and I'm just saying I'm pissed now. Fuck birds. And that's a T-shirt. Oh, Print it. Dude. Fuck birds. <laughs> I'm pissed now. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck birds. Wow. Dude, you need to you need to watch some uh documentaries on owls and shit because uh they, they got some really cool attributes. Hey, I, I don't dislike animals. I like other animals. Jesus. I get that. I'm talking owls specifically. Yeah, we're talking about owls. I mean, have oh, you man. have you watched the opening credit sequence of the labyrinth anytime and recently and not felt something? Thank when you. That owl I have you oh, please be uh, quiet. That's it. <laughs> hey guys. I, I think I know my take backs uh, already for this episode. Right. And, uh, Go I'm, for I'm, it. I'm, no, I'm, I'm going to save it. But uh, what? I, I do say fuck birds. Owls, <laughs> I, <laughs> owls are mean animals. They're not cool. They're not like. Owls protect you from all of the fucking rats that are trying to get into your house. Do you know that? They know, you know they swoop down and. You didn't even realize it. You know they swoop down and do something for you? You know they're serving you because they respect you? Guess what? Don't hate rats. Don't hate him. Oh, you're a rat guy? 
No, I'm not a what? rat guy. I dislike owls. There's evidence of you killing rats. <laughs> yeah, I've, you I've, dislike I've, owls more than rats. I dislike <laughs> owls more than I dislike rats. <laughs> wow. This is You're the most controversial so episode yet. Owls versus rats. You're so dumb. <laughs> owl did, you guys, did you guys dissect owl pellets? Hey, I've had a pet rat before. I've had a pet you rat. You're so dumb. I would, I would never <laughs> allow right. an owl into my house. I would never really? allow Really? Even when they house. pull up the feathers? It wouldn't want to be in your house. You can see how <laughs> jacked they are? Dude, you can't trust an owl. You cannot trust an owl. Owl, and, and, and absolutely not. That's what makes them savage. You're going to stand by that? You're going to stand by that? An owl will fuck your girl. <laughs> and I will fuck your girl. Rats? Nah, man. They're, they'll, they'll scamper off. What the fuck? You're going Dude, off. The owl said, I will fuck your girl. <laughs> owl. I will fuck your girl. <laughs> That's tight. You're going opposite. Like a fucking rat is somebody who is is something that would fuck your girl, dude. The owl will give you wisdom. That there's a joke there something. Mm -hmm. No, a rat will tell on owl. you. A rat will be a bitch and tell on you. An yeah. owl will fuck your girl. No, a owl you dude, no. If you a owl doesn't trick because if you go up to owl and you're like, "Hey man, was there somebody here?" He's just like, "Who?" and you're like, <laughs> "Okay, I see what you're doing here. Look, just Oh yeah, yes. he pleads the fifth. Was my girl with somebody or not? Who?" Exactly. I'll okay, fuck your girl. Okay. It's weird. I'll you fuck can... your girl. <laughs> Hashtag. <laughs> Don't leave me alone with her because I will fuck your girl. Did, hey, did you fuck my girl? Who? Did you Ooh. fuck my girl? Who? I will. Who? <laughs> did you? Who? Knock, knock. Who's there? I will. <laughs> I will fuck, I'll your, fuck girl. your girl. <laughs> Who? And also, Who? I'll say, like, I know, like, e eagles are beautiful, majestic creatures. I And I also enjoy when I see a, an American bald eagle uh, in a tree, I'm like, whoa, that's uh, pretty legit. Mm -hmm. But those guys are uh, fucking eagle maniacs. Like, well, those guys are obvious. Eagle maniacs. Eagle well, maniacs. no, you, you've got it a little twisted because you're, I think you're thinking of, like, the majestic ones in the mountaintops, but there's bald eagles that kick it in the swamps of Florida that are hella down to earth. They're like just grimy dudes. They right. They're like the people for sure. Yeah. They just eat pythons. They're, they're, there's nothing majestic. Okay. What um, is this? Where is this really coming from? Do you like snakes more than birds? Good question. I also mm. don't. No, I do. I don't like snakes either. I, yeah. Okay. I don't like snakes. Do you like snakes more than rats? Uh, mm. Or rats more than snakes. Uh, what's cool is they all eat each other, all three of these things. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We got a cool cycle happening here. Well, you know what? Mm -hmm. I feel like if it depends on like I'm thinking specifically like in my home. Like if uh, if if a rat is in my home, I'm like, <laughs> all right, I know how to like get rid of that. Like snakes, I I I wouldn't like that at all. Admittedly, right, right. I would like that less than rats. But that's how yes. you get rid of the rats is you get a snake. Yes, and What's then up? you get that owl when you're done with the snake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just have a fucking zoo. And then that owl gets your girl and she's done with you. <laughs> that was... Dude, uh, literally uh, two nights ago, uh, I, I have like an ice machine on my deck that I always go out and, and get ice. Get and uh, I was going to get ice and I look out... That deck ice. And this giant fucking possum, one of the biggest possums I've ever seen. So scary. Mm -hmm. Was uh, so scary. They're yeah. hideously ugly. And mm -hmm. he was standing up on his hind legs, holding on to the uh, of my outside little refrigerator, yanking on the door, trying to open it. I'm like, I thought you were about mm -hmm. to be like holding on to Chloe's leg, and you just <laughs> have all these animals trying to fuck Chloe. Oh, <laughs> fuck your girl. Awesome, fuck my girl. It's oh, like that's... Doctor Doolittle, but like, <laughs> what are you guys doing? <laughs> Instead of talking, they're all just fucking Chloe. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, they just love me. Pass some of that ass. Yeah, possums are are freaky deaky. I I agree. Uh, yeah, they're a little weird. I don't know what's going on in their minds. And then I yell. I yell at him. I like go on the and I'm like, hey. And he looks at me and like rolls his eyes. He's like, Ugh. and then like scampered <laughs> off. He was like annoyed that I'm like he's right. trying to get in my refrigerator and looked like he knew how to get in. He was holding it with two arms well, and like yanking on it. Right. And I'm like, oh, this motherfucker goes backyard to backyard in my neighborhood mm -hmm. trying For sure. outside refrigerators. Like this is definitely, how he gets fed. Definitely Would, a raccoon could pull that door open. They have thumbs, right? Don't raccoons have thumbs? Uh, yeah, they got thumbs. Yeah, they got like hu little human hands, man. Uh huh. They're Oof. sick. 
I love that. Oh, yeah. They feel hella good. Mm. <laughs> raccoon, 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 raccoon hands girl. on my back, just rubbing. Yeah. You're yeah. talking to Kyle, the 5 a.m. hiker over here. So yeah. I want to yeah. know. He, yeah, he knows. knows. Raccoons all. are. I want to wrap one of those possum tails around me. <laughs> yeah, he's raccoons like, are the a little too much. I don't. Oh no, dude, fuck off. Ooh. You're such a piece of shit for like dismissing the wisdom of, of the birds well, of the sky. Well, you keep saying the wisdom of the owl, but yeah. this is obviously like a passed down myth from like. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No, I mean, even, okay, whatever. The, ma- the majest. There's no way to qualify the wisdom of an owl. That's just. The majesty of it, the meaning of the animal, what it means to the world. The meaning of the animal. You're talking totem poles. Yeah, what it can represent. Have you looked into an owl's eyes? Uh, me yes i'm just i'm i'm just like i don't l- like birds man they're 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 not trustworthy anyone that has birds in their house are they it's it's a weird thing to have, just have a ton of birds they smell 100%. they're in cages i agree with you there they're they're making way too much noise like it's it's a the birds fucking kind of suck like and, gonna, and also for you when you walk into that house you're terrified I'm yeah, every time. I mean, honestly, if I walked in and right. there was an owl there just hooing at me aggressively, right. I would not like that. I don't and like ca- I don't like caged birds. I don't think that feels right. What if it's a chicken? If it's a chicken in the coop, we can we can roll with that because well, chicken at least you're like they cockle doodle do you in the morning and you're like, oh, that's a rooster. No, that's a rooster. Oh, okay. Well, then yeah, f- uh, fuck chickens. <laughs> But like chickens roosters. are delicious. They make eggs. <laughs> yeah, no, they're well. They're spitting out some eggs, so you at least get to like you know you use use something. Eggs don't come out of their mouths. <laughs> I know they're spitting them out of their uh, their butts, right? Is that where they? Yeah. Eat? You think it's like a Yoshi situation? Wait, that is a good question. <laughs> do eggs <laughs> do eggs come out of chickens' <laughs> ass, or is there like another butthole? No, no, <laughs> an egg. This is important. <laughs> an egg is a is in, no. An the egg is a eat. period. An egg is a period. Okay, but girls don't have periods out of their butthole. Well, it's shaped like a period. Wait, do they? How often do eggs do they? (laughs) Is it only once a month or how often do? They give an egg every day. Ew. So they have a period every day. Yeah. Well, it's it's like a non-active period. It's in an egg form. Okay. So it's like. But yeah. how about they're just doing their own thing? Hey, and uh, feel free to text us the truth about this shit that we don't know about. No, no, I'm pretty positive that an egg is a period that is not being fertilized. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fairly positive. I'm happy to that's be wrong, tight. but you okay. know, I think that's. <laughs> You sound like one of those astronauts that gave the female astronauts 50,000 tampons. Like, is, <laughs> yeah. is this enough? Man, this, might, this might be enough. But Kyle, uh, you didn't answer my question. Do they have two buttholes? Do they have an egg butthole and a, a butthole I butthole? A, I don't know they, how many a, holes they vagina. have. Sorry, I don't know that. Oh, the egg is coming out of their vagina? Yeah, dude. Yes. Well, yeah, that's the period. That would be the period. Yeah. They're not shitting out eggs. Where is a vagina located on a... <laughs> Bend over, I'll show you. <laughs> Did I do, what do you, that? What do you mean? Where is it located? It's this. It's. I don't know how many holes they have. Basically, in the same spot as you probably think it is. <laughs> yeah, kind of the same spot th- that you would think. I thought it was kind of near the. Yeah, if you maybe drop some acid, get in there, it'll be super vibrant buttholes looking at you. I always assume. <laughs> I don't know. There, there has to be, there has to be animals that have like uh, dicks and vaginas in really weird spots, right? Oh, for Why sure. Why don't you mean like Star Trek, where he kicks the dude in the knee and it turned out to be his nuts? <laughs> Fucking classic. It wasn't just that. Wasn't just that's a, like when you kick Adam with his lap hog. Well, I, I don't, I don't remember that, but I like that. <laughs> that was a classic. What was that? That was the famous uh, Star Trek movie. What's it called? Wrath of Khan, where he's like fighting the giant dude and he kicks him in the knee. And he goes down hard, and he's like, what the fuck? He's like, that's where his testicles are. I love <laughs> it's that. Off the Did we write the uh, Star Trek? What happened with it? That- now our- I think we should. Yeah. I want to go check out some Star Trek now. That just Dude. got me in. Dude. That was one of my Heroes favorite bits on, on set when we would, like, uh, hey, uh, have a good scene. And then we'd tap each other on the knee, and then that person would go, ah, the middle of my dick. Ah. <laughs> just hit the ah, middle of my dick. just got the middle of my dick. Because the, the, the end of it's way down there. Ah, <laughs> bully. Yeah. <laughs> I had fun on that show, too. I, yeah, that show was uh, was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed that show, guys. Uh-huh. There was a long time ago. You know we're done shooting the show? Uh, I, I don't know. I was talking about something with Chloe, uh, and I was like, yeah, t- like 
two years ago when we started. And she was like, it's more than two years ago. And I'm like, yeah, how long has it been? It's been four years now. Four yeah. years since we've been done with the show. What was it, like August of 2016 or something? Something uh, like that? Or October, November, so at the end of? Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was like uh, uh, October or November. Yeah, the, or maybe the beginning of November. It was harvest season because y'all were smoking my weed on the roof. Real oh, weed. Talk about it. It yeah, was harvest, baby. Friendship. That Love shit was it. so sick. You guys uh, fucking smoked my my first crop of weed on the roof in the last shot. Oh, I was I mm -hmm. was mad high for that last uh, last scene of workaholics. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. That was hilarious. No, I was Isn't higher. I, I was higher, and I cried. <laughs> Can Is we that, get much higher? Was that uh? Was that, did you say that? Is that in the show where like, this is real weed? Well, no, this no. is real weed. <laughs> no, that was, uh, that was. Something like that. That was Blake saying that. Blake was going, and this is real weed. And I'm like, <laughs> I I know. We're, we we're always, in character. <laughs> we always, yeah, we're like acting. And he's like, it's real weed. I'm like, I know. Obviously mm -hmm. it's rolling. Weed. We're <laughs> huge we're crane the characters. <laughs> so good. So good. <laughs> Perfect ending, dude. Yeah, for sure it's real. Like how it always has been for every scene of the show. <laughs> no, man, this is real. <laughs> oh, I'm glad we did that. I'm glad we did that. Mm. Well, people ask us all the time, like, you guys must have been high the whole time. It's like, uh, I could count on, like, one hand the amount of times we were actually high shooting a, a scene. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, because uh, people don't realize that it takes 12 straight hours to shoot just a few minutes, like four minutes. Yeah. For like four <laughs> or five minutes of the show. So yeah. if you were to smoke at the beginning, if you're smoking all day throughout the day, as many joints as we smoke on the show, you could, you wouldn't be able to finish the day. You would nah. just be like, and you wouldn't be able to impro improvise. Like I'm a <laughs> dog shit improviser when I'm high. I'm just like, yeah, man, cool. <laughs> Yes. No, 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 oh, no. But that's not no, funny. Uh, no, no. Uh, wait. Uh, uh, um, shit. What was it? What was it? I just had it. What was it? What was it? I just had Did it. Did you say it? Um, oh, you said it. Who said that? Who did say that? Did we say that already? Fuck Let owls. Me, I just had it. Can I, can I say it? Fuck owls. <laughs> I'll fuck your girl. Oh, God. I will fuck your girl. Does anyone have any take backs, apologies, or compliments? I remembered it. Um, nice. Well, compliment on remembering. Well, yeah, I'll, I'd like to take back my history with the uh, American-Mexico border and just plug in the word allegedly <laughs> in there okay. trying to sneak uh, shit in. Sure. Yeah, I do like not know what the rules are. I don't know what that is, and I don't need nobody coming for me. Thank you. Yeah, I, okay. I, I can 100% bet that uh, they're, they're not going to come after you for mm -hmm. for trying to get uh, 12 pain pills across the allegedly. border. Allegedly. Right. Allegedly. Yeah, allegedly. All alleged. Allegedly. All alleged. I just forgot to say allegedly. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. And you have to say it now. I, I allegedly. Do. I agree. They're like, allegedly. they feel bad anyway. They're like, he was an acid baby. Just, yeah. <laughs> uh, he's had a tough life. He probably needed the pills. He needs something to... His pecker's too hard. He yeah. needs something to uh, soften his pecker. Soften. Soft, soften. <laughs> He's vibroing at a high level. <laughs> this motherfucker says soften. soften. Like it's off, often or often. Um, I would like to compliment Adam and Chloe on their possible wedding mm, location. Nuptials. I'm excited. Mm. I'm trying oh, to get yeah. some shrimp tacos. Let's go, baby. Some Corona. Yeah, you will. We're all going to be eating some shrimpy takis. I'm excited. <laughs> Jeez. Take backs? That's beautiful. Good job. Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, well, I take back... Uh, I take back saying uh, "fuck owls," and uh, <laughs> yeah, only because because you know mm -hmm. you know owls are fine. I, I don't love birds, and uh, but they're just how mad it made Kyle. I'm like, I want us to be in a good place in our relationship. Right. So mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, hey, if he cares this much about owls, I'm gonna step back from the from uh, my stance on f saying fuck owls and just sure. be like yeah sure owls are fine if kyle loves owls i don't want to be the guy saying fuck owls so um him. you know i take that back do you want to take this chance to just real quick off the top of your head favorite bird yeah uh favorite bird well yeah, i would have favorite. to go with uh my grandmother's favorite and that's cardinals big okay. big shout out to arvella r.i.p yeah i know you're up there with an atrium of cardinals in heaven mm -hmm. awesome that's beautiful thanks bro thank you dude we're good 
Yeah, cardinals are fucking. Sick. When you see a cardinal, you turn into like a different person. You're like, oh, that's a cardinal. It's a cardinal. Oh, I know. Yeah, I like all the birds that huh. it's like even eagles that you know they're bitches. You know they're just they just want to <laughs> claw your fucking eyes out. Like cardinals, I'm like that bird's not gonna claw my eyes out. Right. Uh, right. Uh, Beautiful. But a red winged blackbird will fucking come for you. They will. Same with a fucking. Same with a blue jay. Blue jay will fuck you up. Yeah. What? Yeah. A blue jay will fuck. Yeah, blue jays are bullies, man. Are they? Yeah. You know I'm, what I've never seen that I want to see live? An Oriole. Just want to put that out there. Oh, tight, dude. Tight. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I'd love to see that. My aunt does this thing All where right. she takes pictures and she she puts it on the internet and she calls it Beak of the Week. Oh, that is <laughs> this is the Tweety Bird ant? Is this this Tweety Bird ant? No, this is the this is another ant. This is another ant that just takes fantastic uh photography of of birds. You got a cool family, dude. See, that's another old person thing of just being like a bird watcher. Yeah. Like it's so cool. I could see, I, even though I don't fuck with birds, I could see getting into something like that where you just like you got your camera, you're out there, and the, the you're like getting your exercise, but mm -hmm. it's also it's also doubling as a, another thing. So you're not Hell just yeah. exercising. I could I could see. Be honest, you're sm you're smoking weed. It gets crazy. Yeah. That, I, yes. I'm just looking for ways to get out of the house so I can smoke weed for when I have kids, and you you can't just be. Smoking smoking weed like right in front of them i'm gonna be like yeah dad's gotta take a walk to uh look at birds and they're gonna be like we Bird heard that watching. podcast about uh <laughs> how much you love smoking <laughs> weed and doing mushrooms you're just doing that right and i'll be like fucking <laughs> bird watching get out of my house <laughs> i don't think i'm ever gonna bird watch <laughs> i don't see that for you no you don't yeah. have to you, don't you know have the know. look. I feel like you look like a guy who would be really good at yeah, it. Durs looks the most granoli. I feel like at a well. I, of course, I'd be great at it, Kyle. Obviously. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, you would crush, dude. Yeah. I feel like this could be like our the vacation that we started with. We could but, like we could go do that. When I was in uh, South Africa on my honeymoon, we went on safari, and there were these bird watchers that were in the ride with us, and they were fucking insane. Like just probably jumping, so annoying, right? Just being like, "Oh my god, that's a jumping out the window trying to get the shot," and they were like telling stories about shit I don't care about. They're like, "Every thirty years, you got to go to here because there's one time where they come and we went, and we saw them. It was," and I'm like, "Bro, nobody cares." Yeah, yeah but like, what's the difference don't. between somebody like that and just some fucking people going and playing Pokemon Go? <laughs> Nothing except for the fact that bird watching sucks and Pokemon Go is probably off the chain. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, fuck Pokemon Go for sure. Yeah, but if, I, if I'm going to be like deep into like finding animals, I want an animal. I love you, Adam. Thank you, Kyle. I want an animal that I'm like, oh, for sure, one wrong. I'm like, I, I'd be like Grizzly Man, you know? I want to go find an animal <laughs> that could rip oh, my shit. face off. I'd right. rather do that because that would be at least exciting, an exciting thing. When you're looking at birds, you're like, okay, yeah, right. there it is. But that's the whole thing is that like you get the book with like the checklist and then when you meet other bird watchers, all they do is go, but did you see this? Yes, I saw that. But did you see this? Yes, I saw that. And they go back and forth. I mean, yes, but these are also all code words for fucking positions for them. It's just code. You're now, is that right? Yeah. Oh, I think that's probably, I feel like bird watchers also, it's a, it's kind of a swing underground yeah. swinger they're organization. Like, hey, that checks like, out. They're yeah. like, what's up with your cockatoo, bro? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I guess it's not that. Un <laughs> <I> guess it's, <laughs> it's, it's that easy to decipher. Let me suck your, blo <laughs> let me suck your bluebird. <laughs> not that underground. And what about hey, your penis? <laughs> <laughs> I I will hey. suck your I will <laughs> fuck your wife. Hey, uh, can I I'll lick your, your asshole, Katu? <laughs> <laughs> I will fuck your wife I while you suck, suck my cockatoo. <laughs> it all just ends in Katu. What's up with your cockatoo, bro? <laughs> can I lick your dick hole, Katu? <laughs> Shove your seagull up my ass. All right, any more uh, take backs, compliments, or uh, whatever put downs? <laughs> I'm, Ultimate I'm, slams. I'm done. <laughs> Ultimate <laughs> slams. <laughs> Ultimate slams. Uh, uh, Kyle, you want to do some jump rope to send us out? I see it hanging <laughs> oh, in the background. No, no. Well, check it, dude. I got jump rope and I got a motherfucking rower. Oh, oh dude. Ooh, what is that? Nice. What kind it's of a rower? rower. Is that? No, uh, it's a thank, concept too. Is that a concept too? It, it's not a concept too. No, mm. it just it says stamina on it. 
Yeah, and that's All important right. to have. So let's so uh, let's trade stats because I've been rowing like a motherfucker. I rode a 10k the other day, 35 minutes. Why don't you ride each other? What do you do? Yeah. How, <laughs> what's a, yeah, yeah, what's how about we do this <laughs> off the podcast and you can just fuck each other? <laughs> Jesus. What's a good row? 10k? How? No, no. I want challenges. I want challenges coming from people out what there. What is? Yeah, tell me. What's 10k? What is that? What is that? Ten thousand. That? That's a it's, real row. That was, Yeah, that's. I don't like years. rowing. Oh. Yeah, I don't like rowing that much. But uh, all right, I'll, I'll try and get there. But I mean, it's an awesome workout, and I feel yeah. like taller guys are better at it. So I bet you'd be pretty good at it. Yeah, and the way my clit is right above my my, <laughs> yeah. it just helps. Mm-hmm. It rubs I would, you just let's do right. that. Mm-hmm. We can go birding, and we can go important. rowing. <laughs> let's do it. God, God this Blake, is what was that? Guys. What was that, Blake? Oh, this was important. <laughs> this was important. And I can't wait for everyone to tune back in next week to see how far Kyle and Anders rode. Next week on... This, this is important. This is important. <laughs> Buy merch. Buy merch. I love, I love that he's yeah. comparing it to his bike rides. And we're out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, please buy merch. All right. Bye.